this morning was absolutely quiet. It was sort of just a little bit like when you're skiing in Norway. You can hear the quietness. I'm sort of when I was younger, I, I hunted a lot with shotgun, and uh, on the left ear, really my hearing went down. I was actually surprised that it was my left ear. You do like that, and you put your left ear up towards the mouth of the gun. I lost my hearing sort of gradually. It was never Jens's fault that he didn't hear anything. It was because I didn't say things clearly enough. I was mumbling, I had my back to him, I was in another room. I have to admit I was probably encouraged by my wife to, to go and see the, the doctor there because he was a little bit tired of having to repeat things. What bothered me most was being in meetings and not really being able to catch what was going on around the table. I've been wearing my hearing aid for a little over a year now, and it's very nice now that I don't have to say excuse me, but I can actually hear what they're saying around the table. I don't say things as often as I used to do, now that he has a hearing aid, and Jens is less irritated. I feel less tired. I don't need to concentrate as much as I did before. I don't really notice them at all. And sometimes I, I really nearly going into the showers with them. You sort of tend to forget that they're there. Yeah. And the only real complaints I've ever heard him um, come about his hearing aid is, is finding it in the morning. But even there, I'm not going to use my app. Okay, then he has to find his telephone and his glasses. <laughs> I think the greatest difference in our life since Jens started using a hearing aid is the fact that we, we talk more, much more nicely to each other than we did before. My marriage had lasted a long time before I got the hearing aid, but it might, it might extend it. 